We are ordering Granny Ogle's pinto bean nachos and getting a lot of it on the side. A palata. We're not sure what it is, but Donnie ordered one. These tables are nicely wheelchair accessible or, or um, scooter accessible. And pull right in here like this. <laughs> I pulled in quite tight here. <laughs> so we got, um, this is the nachos. It's got beans, chicken, cheese, and um, it comes with this, but we asked him for it on the side, the tomato, pico stuff, so that Donnie can have that, but I can't have that. And this is the dessert. It's called the palata, which basically, it's a... Um, a popsicle, a mango popsicle with whipped cream and strawberries on it. And it does come with some um, spicy red spices, but Donnie told him to leave that off because I cannot have the uh, spices like that. You are on. So this is the... The chicken, no, the chicken um, nachos with... Pinto beans. Pinto beans. Fajita seasoned chicken and cheese. Comes with pico de gallo on the side, which is right there. Lots and lots of chips. Looks good. We're going to share a little of that. And we're going to wait for our dessert to melt a little bit. And we'll see if we can't figure that out. The chips taste good. They taste good. They're almost slightly, you know, a little stale because they've probably been setting out for a while all day, and it's a hot day. But they do have a good taste of it. A little bit, a little bit salty, but not overly salty, so we might have to watch the salt on that. Birds right now. Flavored chicken. Mm. Oh, there's nothing like like um, nachos with pico and refried beef. Good, good, good. Okay, this is some kind of a popsicle dessert here at Dollywood. Comes with whipped cream and strawberries on top of popsicle. Oh, was I shocked when he pulled the popsicle out of the freezer and put it in a dish. I thought, he's charging me seven bucks for a popsicle? Oh no, there must be more to it than that. Then he covered it with whipped cream and strawberries. And I have no idea how we're supposed to eat this, but there, there's the popsicle. And there's the toppings. I guess you're supposed to put it up to your mouth and take a bite. Very frozen. It's a mango popsicle, by the way. And we had a mango smoothie the other day with cream on it, and that was pretty good, but not our thing, but we liked it. It's got a good taste of the popsicle. Good taste. Kind of hot day. Yeah. Long line waiting to get in to see the uh, Dolly Museum. There's a line waiting to get in to Dolly's bus also. Looks like uh, they put these tables in here for people to uh, sit outside under some shade.
We're coming to see Dolly's niece, Heidi Parton, her kin and friends.
bear ears that have a butterfly on them. It's like that's one of those guitar holders there in Dolly We Trust all sequin. And here's a sign for $150, a Dolly Neon sign. Yeah. Okay, so this is the Dolly Neon sign. If you see someone without a smile, give him one of yours. Look at the wonderful thing you get to carry around. <laughs> Here's where you get your photos. Yeah, I don't think I've been to the shore when it wasn't an exiting crowd. Uh -huh.
bunny, a jacko dirt, jacko, jacko lantern, jacko. The jacko deer. Imagine this water was all the way up to this bridge and this was flooded to the top. Imagine that. All the way to the top, the water was full. Isn't that something? Looks like the little tree survived. Isn't that amazing or what? That this was full of water all the way up to the parking lot. Man. So as you can see, it's easy to scoot. I just can't imagine that full of the top of water. Getting away. You not record me the whole time? This brings you right from the uh, resort. This area is where you can get right on the um, Dreammore trolley. It takes you right to the uh, hotels. And we're going to take the walk. Relief. The trams do have a scooter friendly thing. We've never um, put a scooter on a tram. So I don't know exactly how they do that. I know they do that for strollers. And they have a wheelchair ramp and all of that. I see a wheelchair ramp. If you don't have an, a handicap placard, I think you can drive up and drop your scooter person off and then you would have to park and get on the tram if you don't have a handicap. Yeah. Or you would have to walk. Now here's a transfer chair that's been left behind. So I'm not sure exactly how this is, but I think right here is what Joy was talking about. So when you come into the park and you want to drop off someone that's in a scooter, but you don't have a scooter uh, handicap parking thing, then here is where you would come. You would go into the handicap parking, you would pull all the way as close to the park as possible and drop your person off right here. Then you'd have to go find regular parking, as far as I can tell. <laughs> 